Are you ready for spiritual warfare? Welcome to Majestic. We are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. And here's your host and teacher, Prophetess Leficia Lewis of Majestic Ministries International. Hello, and thank you for watching Majestic. I am Prophetess Leticia Lewis of Majestic Ministries International, and I give the Lord praise that you are watching this program right now, whether in your home or wherever it is that you're watching right now, I appreciate you viewing this broadcast. Let's go ahead and open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you so very much that we have the victory over the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So, Father, I thank you for each and every person, each and every household who is watching right now. If there is anyone who is backslidden or, have, or who has not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I thank you that this is the day and now is the time that they will come back to the Lord Jesus and repent. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you that as we submit ourselves unto you, we could resist the devil and he must flee. So therefore, Satan, we resist you. We resist the prince of the power of the air in the name of Jesus and Holy Spirit, have your way. Let your anointing flow to remove every burden and to destroy every yoke of bondage. In Jesus' mighty and majestic name we pray, amen and amen. Again, I am Prophetess Lethesia Lewis of Majestic Ministries International, and the Lord has given to me the honor of teaching his word, as well as teaching the assignment specifically on spiritual warfare. Now, the blessing is the Holy Spirit has given many people this assignment, and we give the Lord praise for that kingdom work because the body of Christ must be equipped to understand spiritual warfare. However, I want you to know that the Lord has given to me military parallels between who we are as Christians and the Department of Defense here in the United States of America, and so that is what I'm going to be teaching on. Also, you will be able to purchase a copy of my book, Heaven's Arsenal, Hell's Destruction, a book on spiritual warfare. Again, that's Heaven's Arsenal, Hell's Destruction, a book on spiritual warfare. I am so excited because I absolutely love teaching on spiritual warfare. For you to know who you are in Christ Jesus and to know that we have the victory over the adversary. So to start, let's turn to the word of God for our foundational scripture. And if you don't have your Bible, I want to encourage you to get your Bible. I am teaching from the King James Version of the Word of God, the King James Version. So our foundational scripture that I will be repeating in future broadcasts is 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And we will start with verse 3. And it reads, For though we walk in the flesh... We do not war after the flesh. Verse four, for the weapons, plural, of our warfare are not carnal or fleshly, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So again, verse three, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So what is the revelation that the Holy Spirit had given to the apostle Paul? That we see flesh and blood. However, flesh and blood ultimately is not the issue of life. Whatever it is that we are dealing with has spiritual implications. And that is the reason why I am teaching on spiritual warfare, because remember, we see people. However, as I always say, there are only two types of people in the world who exist. That's it. Only two types of people born again or sinners. Either a person is born again, they're saved, their salvation is in Christ Jesus, 
or they are sinners. That is what the Bible teaches. That is the word of God. So we encounter saved and unsaved people on a daily basis, which means there are two forces that are in operation in the earth realm simultaneously, the kingdom of God and the works of darkness. But the blessing is the kingdom of God is greater than the works of darkness. However, I know you might be watching this broadcast and saying, well, I understand what you're saying, Prophet Lathesia. However,